Hello everyone, this is B Fields with Become a Blogging Maniac and during this video tutorial today I want to talk with you about the all-in-one SEO pack plugin and a couple of mistakes that people make using the plugin. First of all, the all-in-one SEO pack, there are many SEO plugins that you can use. Uh, I have found the all-in-one SEO pack to work really well for me and just know that there are others out there and you have you will have your own preference but there is one thing that is pretty consistent with all SEO plugins and it is the title tag of your blog or of your website so I just want to open up the all-in-one SEO pack and show you what I'm talking about I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to the all-in-one SEO and I have configured this below. Uh, once you open up the plugin, you first of all have to enable it, and then it's going to be asking for some information. And this home title is without a doubt the most important thing you're going to put into the plugin. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of putting in their company name, like. John Smith's Consulting Company or something of that nature. And what we all need to understand is that the public is not necessarily going to Google to look for John Smith Consulting, but they might be looking for a marketing consulting firm. So we have to keep those search words and those search terms in mind when using the home title tag. So I chose blog courses and blog library as my main keywords and then added with become a blogging maniac. Uh, the second thing you need to know is that this home title should not be any longer than 64 characters or it will get cut off when you go to search for that term under Google. So uh, I've had this blog up for about four years, so it does have some longevity to it. Um, but if I go out and look at, at Google, let's just do a Google search and see where it pops up. And if I put in blogging if I put in the word blogging courses, it's right here on the home page. Blogging courses and blog library with become a blogging maniac. And I don't think I would have gotten that gotten that homepage placement without having that blogging courses word in that main title tag. So please just remember when you are optimizing the all-in-one SEO pack to keep in mind keywords as opposed to necessarily the name of your site. When people actually go and look at the site, they don't see blogging courses and blog library. They see my banner which has become a blogging maniac. But the important thing is for Google to know what the name of my site is. And that all-in-one SEO pack will be crawled, the, the, the site will be crawled, and they're going to be looking behind the page and all the code to see what the actual title is. So if I were to go to Internet Explorer and go to become a blogging maniac site, It'll come up in just a minute. Okay, so what I want to do is to view the source behind the page. And if you see the title up here at the top, it's Blogging Courses and Blog Library with Become a Blogging Maniac. That is what Google wants to see. Not that it can't read that graphic on the home page. So just know that whatever that main title tag is the most critical part of optimizing your blog. So it's a very good idea to use keywords in that section of the all-in-one SEO pack as opposed to using the name of your company. So I hope this has been helpful with your optimization process. And uh, like I said, there are many plugins. Choose the one that works for you, but just make sure that title tag is exactly the keywords that you want people to find you under when they go to search for Google. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial today. Once again, I'm B Fields, and you can find me at blog.becomeabloggingmaniac.com or by going to B Fields.
www.ellenbarnett.com which is my main website. You can certainly contact me through this page and uh, I can answer any questions that you may have about blogging or about anything related to business and leadership coaching. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.